Hello everybody, my name is Sniping Spun, and I welcome you all back after a long, long hiatus to my next Ruby Theories, Predictions, and Speculation series of videos. Yes, I, I know it's been so freaking long since the last time I did one of these. It's been like, what, five months now? It was like the summer. It was still basically the summer of 2016, the last time I think I did this, or early fall. When I did my last Ruby theory, which was like about Team Stark and whatnot, about their past and everything, and I kept basically saying in numerous update videos and a lot of my top tens and stuff, I'm gonna give it back. I'm gonna be getting back to my Ruby theories and predictions and speculation type series of videos really, really soon. And then eventually, about I, like, I had a, like two ideas in mind, of which they are still going to go, and I'm still going to do those later on. They'll be one of my next, you know, predictions and speculations. But um, I know I had, those, I had those planned before Volume 4 even started. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait until I see all, if not most, of Volume 4 before I jump back into this. And now we're more than halfway through Volume 4, and I'm like, I'm getting all these different theories from this volume alone and looking back on some stuff. And I'm like, there are theories coming. It's going to slowly start up, and I'll probably do most of them after Volume 4 is done, which is going to be sometime in February. Um, but I'm going to be bringing it back up, and I'm sorry for the long hiatus. I know there's probably some viewers of mine that probably have wanted to see more of my prediction speculation videos. I'm sorry for that, the long wait, and I'm going to hope to be pushing more out in the near future before Volume 4 ends, and um, certainly after it. And I'm making my jump back into theories and predictions with a new character that we... Uh, we just got introduced to, at the beginning of Volume 4, and we've only seen here, like, what, three times by now? Like, in three different episodes? And that is Weiss's younger brother, Whitley. And, uh, my little theory and predictions and speculation on why I think Whitley is the way he is, why he acts the way he is, or more importantly, what my original theory, the name I was going to actually name it, I wasn't going to originally name it, why is Whitley the way he is, I was originally going to say, why does Whitley not like his sisters? That was originally going to be my, you know, name of this theory, and it's going to be part of that, because this is basically just about Whitley as a whole, and it would include his dislike for his, you know, sisters, Winter and Weiss. Um, and I wanted to basically do this because I'm like, Whitley is kind of an interesting character, and I want to kind of dive into this because I do think there's going to be a legitimate reason but why Whitley is the way he is. He's not just going to be a little douchebag that I think a lot of fans think he is. Like, he's just that little stubborn, like, brother that says, Yes, Father. No, I don't think he's going to be like that. And that's the reason why I wanted to dive into a theory on this and predict and kind of speculate why I think he is. And I also basically thought about this theory before the events of Episode Nine, when, you know, him and Weiss had that little, you know, confrontation in her room. And I actually didn't think of the theory about what they actually even talked about in the show, because basically, for the, um, and I'm sure if you're watching this theory, you know exactly what's going on, like what happened. Um, basically, Weiss asked Whitley if he didn't like his sisters because of their abilities, if he was jealous of their abilities, you know, to use their semblance and summon and all that stuff, do the glyphs and everything. Because apparently it was assumed that maybe Whitley doesn't know any of that stuff, which pretty much he doesn't. It doesn't appear like that. He's way more business-like like his father. Um, and I didn't actually think of it like that. That was not my original intentions of this theory. I really did not think of it like that. And here's the thing. It could very well still be that. The thing is, I think if the creators of Rooster Teeth brought that to light as, you know, Weiss asking him, and he's like, uh, not really, you know. Either he's really good at staying face, he's really good, at, like, it's down emotionally, he's really pissed off that he can't do any of this stuff, and really that is the reason, but he's so good at hiding it that we don't really know, or really that isn't the reason, because I think that's probably it, like, I don't think Weiss would bring it up this early in the show, like, Rooster Teeth would make it that early, and him shooting it down like that, if that was the real reason he doesn't like Winter in Weiss, I really don't think that's the reason Whitley would be like that. Like, I, I think that might be a small reason, because he says not really, so he probably had that small reason, but I don't think that's a real major reason why he doesn't like his sisters and why Whitley's the way he is, being like like a yes man to his father to inherit the Schnee family company and all that. Um, 
But that certainly could be a possibility that just kind of the way they presented it, I'm thinking that's not what they're going to go with, and that certainly wasn't the idea I thought of. I'm thinking he's just jealous of his sisters, like him being the youngest sibling of them all, of all three of them, and the, I, this is my reasoning, and it could be two potential reasons. One is he doesn't really, maybe, maybe he doesn't like the bond between like his, like his wife and Winter have with each other. That's the thing I think I have, like, you know, usually like sisters could get along more with each other than like the younger brother, like, you know, the brothers and sisters, I think maybe there's like this bond between wife and Winter more so than there was with him, him being the youngest sibling. I don't know how old he actually is. I mean, Winter is like, what, in her 20s? And Weiss is like 17, 18-ish. So Whitley is like, what, like 14, maybe? I mean, that's not a big age gap between him and Weiss so much, but really that's still technically his, because like, Weiss is about to be like a young adult. He's still kind of like in the teenager phase, and certainly there's a big age gap between him and Winter. So I'm thinking it's more like him being the youngest sibling, and not only the youngest sibling in general, but them being, you know, his sisters both being, you know, girls and everything, they probably got along more with each other than with him, and maybe he felt left out as being not only the youngest, but being the only boy of the children. I think that might be a partial reason. That's kind of stupid in a sense, but it does tend to happen, I guess, and it could be this, he could be really stupid and make that his reason for why he doesn't really like them. Or it could be, and this is the other reason, the attention they got from the parents more so than him, because usually the older kids, like, usually of a family, if, if, if parents have more, I mean, I'm not trying to say this as a, as a generalization, but it could be used as a stereotype for the show, certainly, and it does happen in real life. Usually if a par if parents have multiple kids, like, they tend to, especially because the older kids are, you know, obviously older and, and been there longer, the parents might pay more attention to the older kids. Now, we don't know Weiss's mother yet, and this could, Weiss, you know, Weiss, Winter, and, you know, Whitley's mother, we have no idea how Mrs. Schnee actually even is, and that's a theory for another day. I will be doing a theory on the mother. That's coming very shortly. Um, but, I'm thinking, and this is especially in Jacques' proportion, like, he wants to have one of his kids obviously run the company, and one of his kids obviously take the name the Schnee name is the company once he obviously decides to retire, whenever the hell that is. <laughs> and obviously being the older, oldest, you know, kid, Winter would have gotten that, you know, that role a lot, like, you know, above everyone else. She would have been the first kid in line to be, you know, succeeding Jock. But she went off and joined the military. She went to the Atlas military. And I'm thinking that's because she wanted to get away from her father. Like, he seems to be pretty demanding and pretty, like, in, like, wanting to be this, like, oh, we have to be this image, we have to look this to the people, and, like, he's very image-oriented. And I'm assuming Winter didn't like that, and that's the reason why she wanted to get out of there and get away from her father, because he was too controlling and too demanding, which, quite frankly, the little bit we've seen of him in Volume 4 certainly is the case. Um... And then it went down to Weiss, and then I think Weiss wanted to live up to her father, and, you know, obviously at the beginning of the series, we saw her as, like, this little stuck-up princess girl that was, like, this, and very etiquette, and very all this stuff, and we've seen that through the first three volumes easily, and you've seen her slowly change. What I think, and like I said, if it's not the whole sister relationship between, you know, um, between uh, Weiss and Winter, and him being the youngest sibling, which I think is the very li least likely reason, I think it's this reason I just basically mentioned. That's the major reason why Whitley is kind of like, you know, kind of wanted the attention of his father and wanted to, you know, like it was his fault that yeah, that uh, that Weiss actually, you know, you know, spoke out at the party and everything and why he wants to get the attention. He was the least likely to take the Schnee name. He was the youngest kid. He was the least likely to ever you know, take the family name, and he was the least likely kid to get the attention of his parents. We don't know the mother yet. We don't know how much the mother was in their kid's life. And that's going to be for that theory, like I said, wait till then. But Jacques especially would probably be centered on the kid. He doesn't seem like he's that close of a parent that he'd be, like, you know, taking care of his kids and like, be very in and in their lives. He's like, oh, okay, this kid's going to succeed me. I have to take this kid 
and mold them so they can take the company from me and I can be feeling safe that they will take the company from me in the right way. Winter obviously left the picture. Weiss is you know, broken because of the fall beacon. Now it's Whitley. And I think Whitley basically probably got very little attention when he was a kid. Very little attention when he was younger. And he saw that Winter left and all that was left between him and getting father's attention and maybe the mother's attention depending on how she is, if she's agreeing with Jacques or not, because we have no idea if she's against Jacques or not, or if she's being used or not, or if she's just as evil as Jacques or whatever, to get the attention of his parents, most notably Jacques, his father, he had to do something to get her out there. And he probably manipulated in a way the party to get his way. He doesn't like his sister's because they got everything before him because he was the youngest kid. And that is pretty, you know, realistic to the sense. Like sometimes like the youngest kid doesn't get as much as the older kids in the in a you know ch uh, in a family. You know? <laughs> that tends to be a thing. And I think that's the reason for Whitley. I think the reason, quite frankly, and I'm sorry for taking a while to even mention like you know, kind of say this theory, it's it's, <laughs> it's been a while since I've been here, so it's like trying to Bring my opinion to you guys is taking a little bit longer because I'm. I have to get focused back on doing theories and predictions and speculations again and actually talking about them to the camera for that matter. I don't think Whitley is a little douchebag just for the sake of being a freaking little douchebag, like the younger, stuck up brother that wants the attention all to himself. He's not like Jacques. I think Jacques's gonna be like that way because Jacques is just very business oriented and very like a douche. Like, I think we're. Like, the, the father is just like he is because he's just like that. And he wants all the power and wants all the attention. I don't think Whitley is necessarily like that. I think Whitley, like, I, has this deep down, this reason for why he's the way he is. And it's not, that he, it's not that he hates his sisters. I don't think he truly doesn't like them or truly doesn't, you know, truly hates them or anything. It's just that it may be his upbringing or something causes him to not like his sisters as much as he thinks he does. You know, he doesn't like them, he hates them or whatever as much as he thinks he does. And quite frankly, I see him, unlike Jacques, I see him the character that's going to eventually turn around at the end because I think all three of the Schnee kids are actually going to team up at the end probably against their father. I think that's going to be an end game for like the Schnee family where the kids come together, they put aside their differences and they unite as, you know, brothers and a brother and sisters you know, as, you know, siblings and get their relationship back together in order to probably take down the dad. I'm thinking that's probably the end game for the Schnee kids. I do think Whitley is going to turn around as the seasons come. I don't see him being a little douchebag for long. I really, like I basically mentioned in this video, I don't think he's a li like the little stuck-up kid just for the sake of being that little brother that gets on your freaking nerves. He somehow has a reason because deep down like, there's something there and it really all lies on the fact what the mother's like. And this theory can be either escalated further or broken down completely, depending on how Mrs. Schnee actually is, because we don't know a single thing about her yet, except for that little picture portrait that we saw what she looked like, and she basically looks like an older winter. And we don't know her personality, we don't know anything. All we know is that she married Jacques, and he took her family name, because the thing, because the you know, world of Remnant and him taking the company's name and everything so he could take it from her dad. But we don't know if she was forced into it or if she wanted him to take the family from her dad. We have no clue on that yet. And that could make or break this theory, this prediction, this speculation on Whitley. But like I said in this, the final moments, I don't think Whitley, like I said, is the way he is just for the sake of being it. There is some legit reason deep down inside. And it could very well be the reason they actually mention in the show he's just jealous of his winter in Weiss. He's jealous of his sisters because of their ability to do all their symbol and stuff and everything. And it runs in the family name. And he feels like the sheep, black sheep of the family because he can't do it or so because it's supposed to be genetic and they all seem to get it. He, for some reason, probably doesn't get it because he focuses probably more on being like... <laughs> Like, you know, he, he, and that's the reason why he focuses more on being like his dad, because his, you know, obviously he's not a schnee, and he doesn't have a power, or any of the stuff like his sisters do, and like his mom probably does, and past family members, ancestors. So he wants to, you know, go to his father's side, because he could probably fit more in there. That could very well be the reason, that's, the, but they shot it down in the show, unless he's very good at saving face, that could very well be, like, you know, 
that could be the reason, but I think they, if they wouldn't bring it up this early and him shoot it down that fast if it was really the case. Like I said, it's either he's the lowest man on the totem pole, the lowest child, and he feels left out from his parents, most notably his father, because he doesn't fit in probably with his you know, mom or his sisters because of the Shni name and the abilities, which could correlate, like, taking what they mentioned in the show and mix it with my theory, or he's just like, oh, I hate my sister because they are so close to each other, and I probably wasn't like that. I have no clue, and this theory went on for a longer time than I usually do these theories for, but I'm getting back into it, and it's just taking me a little bit longer, I guess, to get used to it. And that's basically my theory. So, my question to all of you, why do you think Whitley is the way he is? Why do you think Whitley doesn't like Weiss or Winter? Why do you think he doesn't like his sisters? Why do you think he kind of manipulated to take the family name? You know, the company, like, in the show, why do you think he's so, like, up on oh, doing what Father wants and everything? And just put in the comment section what you guys think. Do, do you think my theories make sense? Do you think what they're doing in the show is what they're going to do? Do you think there's some sort of connection between what they mention in the show and what I mentioned here? Because it could go any which way, but I do believe there's honestly a reason for why Whitley is... Like, trying to father, you know, trying to father, trying to follow in his father's footsteps, because there has to be, there, there's no, like, like, that family seems, seems so out, like, they're so divided, and it all depends on what the mother is like, and we don't know that yet, and that could make or break this theory. And that's my thoughts um, on why I think Whitley's the way he is. He just feels left out. And he doesn't fit in with his mom's side of the family, so he wants to go to his dad's side of the family. Something like that, overall. Put in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys like this theory? What do you guys think? Put your comments below. What do you think is the reason? And I'll see you all later in my next theory. And Sniping is Fun, signing out.